And we're actually, the White House is right behind us. They've turned out the lights for the night. President Bush has gone to sleep, as has President-elect Barack Obama, who's staying just across the street at the Blair House. But plenty of people in this city are still partying tonight, including many San Diegans. California Democrats were sky high at the party's California bash at the Air and Space Museum. There's an, an incredible energy here that I've not seen at others. Especially sweet for San Diego Democrats, who turned the county Democratic blue for the first time in decades. I've never seen anything like it. Hundreds, thousands of volunteers in San Diego. The people here from the state party and other counties and so forth, they know what's happened in San Diego. We won, and uh, now it's time for us to let our hair down a little bit. Earlier, a group of 80 SDSU students toured D.C. landmarks. I want to be that 80-year-old guy and say that I was there when my grandchildren are studying about this. Their guide, Professor Mike Stoddard, a veteran of several Republican White Houses. I think people like Barack Obama. I think they, they like the way he smiles, he talks, he's pleasant, he appears to be very personable, and I think that's a huge part of it all. The Aztecs visited the National Archives to see firsthand America's founding documents. As the students check out the original copy of the Constitution of the United States, it's interesting to think that in this document, blacks are considered three-fifths of a person, and now we're going to have our first African-American president. Three fifths of a person, you're not even counting to vote for the president as one vote, and now you are the president. Like, it's just amazing. Then they headed to a star studded concert to hear from Obama himself. What gives me the greatest hope of all is not the stone and marble that surrounds us, but what fills the spaces in between. It is you. As we listen to a change is going to come here at the inaugural concert, we can say that there's a change in attitude here. Despite the recession and everything else, the mood here is very upbeat. It feels really exhilarating. You can feel change like all around you. And it's amazing. Um, it's awesome. It's history. I feel like I could be the next African-American woman president. That's how I honestly feel I could do. Like I can do whatever I put my mind to. Now, tomorrow, of course, is Martin Luther King Jr. Day across the country, and that has very special meaning here in Washington. President-elect Obama has called for a National Day of Community Service, and there will be plenty of events happening around this city tomorrow. We also have a busy day for you on San Diego 6 News in the Morning. We'll be right back here with Jenny Hamill tomorrow morning starting at 5 a.m., including our guests tomorrow. We've got Congressman Bob Filner. Uh, we've also got professors from SDSU, USD, and plenty of excited San Diegans to bring your way. Also coming up... Tomorrow night, right here on uh, San Diego 6 News at 10, we're going to be showing you how San Diegans head to pick up their tickets and uh, also talk to some other very excited San Diegans has some interesting profiles as well. Jeff and Lynn? You know, Alex, we saw the highlights of that remarkable concert, the Lincoln Memorial, today. I can imagine I saw you outside there. It must have been incredibly electric being there. Yeah, it, everybody there just kept repeating this sense that you're part of history. The energy just continued to rise as the people continued to sing. I mean, Stevie Wonder, Bruce Springsteen couldn't have had a better talent lineup, and people certainly like to watch Barack dance as well. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Alex. We look forward to seeing you in the days ahead. And as he said, we'll continue to have live team coverage from the inauguration, focusing on San Diegans and what they're up to at all the festivities. Our own Jenny Hamill, as well as Alex Michelson, will be bringing you live reports on San Diego 6 in the morning and San Diego 6 News at 10 through Tuesday night.